Hi everybody, um, this is for Peggy and anybody who wants to, I, I've been making these masks. Um, I went, I googled, um, the first I heard of this, I'm gonna go back. First I heard of it was we got, uh, there was a Facebook post by HSHS uh, St. Elizabeth's Hospital that they were in need of, of masks. Um, not ones that the doctors and whatever are going to wear, but um, they they just need masks for people. So um, in the same day, David, uh, my husband, was talking to um, some friends of his from San Diego that happened to be respiratory nurses, and they also were making masks on their time off from being at the hospital. So as I was walking out the door to go get my supplies, they said to use Pelanon in the middle of, instead of, most of the videos that you see, they're putting like a paper towel or um, I, I don't even want, know what some, or like a felt piece in there. But Pelanon, it comes, it's a little bit thicker um, and I think it's it's breathable, but yet it it's more of a barrier. I don't really know why. I just did what I was told by these professionals. So I kind of had to modify the, the whole thing because I couldn't find elastic either. So... That was all sold out. So um, I sent a picture of the ties, or my husband did, of what I'm using. It's super soft, and these are just um, literally, these are hair ties that they come, they look like this, but it's just fabric. It, it's just elastic, and it's super soft, and I cut them in half. I cut them, and then I cut them in half again, and it, so it gives you double. Yeah, you get, it, it's long ways. So they're thicker than what you see here. Um, I actually like these because now we're getting information that a lot of these nurses that are like on the job all the time and they're taking these on and they, they're now getting uh, raw behind their ears. So the elastic is great, but it is a little bit rougher. So I've been going in like buying out Walmart uh, for all of these hair ties <laughs> because they're just, I like them and they're easy to sew with. So the way I do it exactly the way the video that I, that's on, that I sent to Peggy, um, I do it the exact same way. You put your, your first piece of um, fabric down facing up and then you put, you attach the hair ties inside there just like that. Um, just right at the edges and then I sew it exactly. You leave a space. Now, I'm not one. They say to leave it on the side. If you want to leave it open on the front, put your pelanon in afterwards um, and then sew, sew this up after you turn it inside out. It's whatever you want. There's no right or wrong. There's no, I'm going to screw this up if I don't do it exactly how this, this lady did it. You know, sometimes I start sewing and I'm like, oh, what am I doing? So, you know, I have to do whatever's left. So if you want more space, but the one thing you want to do is to make sure to get the hair ties really locked in to, so that they don't come out because um, this is a completed one. So we've got the red on the back and I just kind of chose some, some fabrics that were kind of fun that might make people smile, um, especially the nurses <laughs> or whoever's going to be wearing them. But if you look, see, it has to really be tight in there. So you're gonna sew all the way around on the inside and then you're gonna flip it right side to where the right sides are out and you're gonna sew it again. So you're gonna get double and you're gonna put these little pleats in there. So um, once you get, and you're gonna wanna have your iron because it kind of really helps to keep that pelanon down in there. But it's pretty thick, but it's comfortable. It, it's it's kind of fun. So. Um, I don't know if I need to sew one so that y'all can see or just send them the video of that other video too. So well, that's Peggy has that one. So <laughs> that one will, you guys will get that one. But um, I just thought the Pelanon needs to also, one other thing, don't cut that edge to edge. You see how mine is just here in the middle. You'll never, once you do, Smaller than the other right. Once you do the pleats and because you're sewing through all of this. So if that pelanon is up, it's way too thick. I mean, unless you have like a super industrial 
bigger, mine is just a basic sewing machine. So I do mine just in the middle and it's tacked in there. So it's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna move around. Um, another thing you could do if you wanted to ensure that is put a line across here before you do your pleats, whatever. Um, but this is, this is mine. And the next, I've got a whole bunch that I'm gonna be making. And these are um, nine inches wide and six inches tall. So this is six by nine. And then the little ties are, I think, like about six inches long as well. So you've got a front piece of fabric, a back piece of fabric. Yep. That's that size. And then you have the Pelanon, which is small. Right. I'll show you. This is how I put mine together. I put my first piece, and this is right side up. And then I will take my ties and... I put one tie and I kind of spread it apart a little bit so it's flatter and then I pin it and then that goes all the way around and then when I'm done with that I take this and I that's my back my other piece and then I take the pin out and I repin it so they're all together then I sew this and I leave an opening whether you want the opening on on the top or on the side but you always want to come to where it's not a huge opening. You don't need a giant opening. And then before I turn it inside out, I put this in. So you want to do everything like the previous video, but then you want to do like this for this one. If you want me to do one where it's, I sew the whole thing the way I do it, I can do that. But I don't know. So let me know. Is that it? That's it. All right.